Howdy! The purpose of this video is to talk about the difference between steady state and transient diffusion. What do these terms mean? Now you're going to learn different mathematical expressions which we're going to apply for either the steady state case or the transient case. But in order to use these correctly, we need to know what we mean by those two different cases. And we're going to do that by talking about an example. So here we have diffusion through a membrane. This is some fixed solid membrane, maybe it's a, a steel membrane. And I have some, some species that I'm worried about it diffusing through. So maybe this is a gas species, say uh, hydrogen um, molecules. Uh, initially, the system's in equilibrium. The concentration on the left is the same as the concentration on the right, uh, and that concentration is steady throughout that whole solid material. So what happens if the system changes? Say I start flowing a gas on the left-hand side, and that gas has a different concentration of hydrogen in it. Um, I, know I know immediately I have more uh, higher concentration of hydrogen off to the left than I do on the right. So I'm going to have some sort of um, diffusion of hydrogen from the left to the right. How's that going to change with time? Remember our uh, fundamental diffusion equation. So this is Fick's first law. Diffusion is proportional to the concentration gradient. So initially I have a very, very steep slope over here. So the diffusion flux is going to be relatively large across this particular plane. What about over here on this plane? In this case, the slope is essentially zero, and so I essentially have no diffusion from the left to the right. So what that means is that if I let the system sit for some short period of time, I'm going to start increasing the concentration in this immediate in this intermediate region, right? I have a high flux on the left side and a small flux on the right side, so the concentration in between those two is going to have to increase. So let's do this again. What happens now? Uh, and again, I can look at the slope at various points, right? And so here I have a relatively steep slope, so the deflux is the flux is still relatively large here. My slope has increased in this plane, but it's still relatively small. So again, I'm going to increase the concentration in this intermediate region. And this is going to happen until I achieve a linear profile. So why is that? If I look at Fick's first law, the diffusion flux is proportional to the concentration gradient, right? So the slope is constant along this whole region. Um, and what that means is the flux here is the same as the flux here. If I look at different planes in the middle of this membrane, it's the same as the flux here and it's the same as the flux there because the slope is equivalent at all those places. So in the next time step, the concentration is not going to change at all in these intermediate regions. So if I let this system keep sitting in time, material will keep fluxing, it'll keep diffusing from the left to the right, but my concentration profile is fixed. And the um, flux at a given position is also fixed. That's different from these initial cases, right? Here I'm looking at different time steps, and in each of those time steps, the profile changes, it evolves over time. So steady state is where I have a constant concentration profile, I have a constant concentration profile. Here I'm calling that C as a function of X, right? X is just the position. And I have a constant mass flux as a function of X. The flux is the same at all of these. And it's constant in time as well, right? So to be proper, I should say these things are constant. Uh, let me try this one more time. So the concentration profile, C of X, is constant with time. That doesn't mean the concentration is the same at all the positions of X. The flux profile, J of X, is also constant with time. In this case, the flux is also going to be uh, equal at each of those X positions. That's different from the transient case. In the transient case, I see that concentration profile changing. It's evolving. The one thing to remember. In steady state, concentration is constant. Um, the flux at a given position is constant with time. 
but individual atoms are not constant, right? Atoms are always going to be moving around. For there to be a mass flux, I need to have atoms moving from the left side to the right. So remember what's constant and what is not constant. Okay, we talked about steady state, we talked about transient. Remember the differences between these two things. Steady state means that my concentration profile is fixed in time. Transient means it's sort of evolving, it's changing over time. Atoms, however, are always going to be moving when I talk about diffusion. 